Hi all, this is Jay from Jay at 3 am In today's walkthrough, I'm going to be showing you the process that I use to create that retro halftone effect. So creating the retro halftone effect in the Infinity Photo is a fairly straightforward and easy process to follow. And the method that I use is to build a non-destructive layer stack above the image because this gives you a better result than just applying the uh, halftone filter directly to the image itself. Now there are four elements to the layer stack that I use and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a levels adjustment. I won't be using this just yet but I will be using it later on in the process so I'll close that window down. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an HSL adjustment. Now the only thing I'm going to do on here is actually desaturate the image and that is all I'm going to do um, for now and again I will be coming back to the HSL adjustment later on in the process. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a blank pixel layer and I'm going to fill this layer with roughly around about 50% grey. I think just slightly lower than 50% um, gives you a, a better result. And I'm going to change the blend mode to hard mix. And as you can see, this gives us a very high contrast, almost cartoon style effect. And this is where we need to apply the, um, the half tone filter to. So live filter and half tone. And here we have the makings of our, our half tone image. Now values wise, um, from experience, I found that a uh, cell size were around about 20 and a contrast value of around about 20 uh, works well for me. And also um, screen angle, I normally change this to around about 45 degrees um, as it looks um, better to my eye. So we now have a very basic half tone effect. So from this point on, it's just a matter of experimenting with the adjustment layers. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all go down to the HSL layer and I'm going to bring a little bit of that colour back. I'm not going to take it too far because if it's too extreme, it doesn't look good to me at all. So I'm going to bring a little bit of colour back and I'm going to darken the contrast a little bit there. And then I'm going to go into the layers there, levels adjustment. And just adjust to, to taste. And I think we're just about there with what I'm looking for. There's, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, as I said before, um, it's just a, it really is just a matter of personal taste and style. So for me, I think I'm, I'm just about, about there. And to finish it off, I'm just going to bring in a frame to give it that rough edge. And I'm just going to add an effects because I want the frame to be white rather than black. And I'm just going to use an, a color overlay to do that. And just resize the frame to suit. I think we are there. And there we have our vintage half tone effect. So thanks for watching. I hope you got something from the video. Take care and until next time, bye for now. Hi all, it's Jay from Jay at 3am. If you like the content in these videos, please hit that thumbs up below. Maybe consider leaving a comment or subscribing. It really does help the channel and it gives me that incentive to continue uploading YouTube content. Really is appreciated. Thanks guys.